Hello YouTube and welcome back to Cool Space Program. I'm Mike Bradley and this is my latest creation. It's a little bit of a weird rocket and uh, yeah, it's already gone through one design iteration. Uh, but yeah, I've got uh, six uh, landers up on top with a seventh command pod that's uh, that won't be landing. Uh, and we're going to the moon. Yeah, we're sticking a little closer to uh, home this time. After all the ridiculous science that we uh, got out in Jewel, I thought it'd be nice to uh, stay in the neighborhood, basically. So anyways, I'm gonna get this guy into orbit and off to the moon, and I'll see you there. So guys, we made it to the moon. Uh, we're on the dark side, of course. Uh, but we are lucky because our mission is to basically land in all these craters. Uh, and we have this one right here, which is still slightly, or it's still illuminated. So that is the first one we're going to go to. We're not going to land in this one. Uh, I think that's a crater there. Let me... yeah, I think it is. But we're not going to land, uh, there, because we want new biomes. So we're going to land in this crater, uh, this crater, and, uh, the other craters that we can't see right now because they're on the dark side. So, here we go with our first probe. Uh, this is, of course, running at four times normal speed. And yeah, just a quick burn to get away, and then uh, I think I do the deorbit burn a little early here. Yeah, just a tad bit too early. But that's fine, because uh, we leave ourselves plenty of space uh, above the ridge of the crater. I uh, only need about 5 kilometers uh, of altitude there. And here we are coming in. I uh, just cut out a bit of that... Uh, uh, stuff. This is actually the second or third attempt in. And, uh, yeah, so I cut out all those failures. Uh, just being honest with you guys, there... <laughs> I had a number of, uh, failed attempts. Uh, no, uh, quick save shenanigans other than, uh, right before I, uh, did the fa- or did the landing attempt. So, no, one go no uh, going back to Jewel or anything like that. But anyways, we're uh, down with our first uh, guy, and yeah, I keep calling these probes, but they're not probes, they're landers. Uh, get a bunch of science. Uh, I brought the barometer, but it's really not necessary. And those uh, gamma ray spectrometers don't actually provide any science, but they do uh, provide locations for thorium and uranium. Uh, that's, if you can see the little purple dots on the map, uh, that's what that is. But anyways, we planned our flag, take our EVA report, and, uh, surface sample. Uh, almost get back to the lander there that first time. And back. So yeah, we're gonna change to our, change to another, uh, lander here in a second. Uh, once I do some EVA testing. And get back in. And yeah, that was me confused about uh, how some of that science works. But anyways, this is our second lander. We've already done our deorbit burn. We're coming in. Coming in low, of course. I think this guy was probably the hardest one for me to land. Uh, I think I had three attempts on this, and this is the third one. Anyways, we're going to land short of those twin craters there. Small twin craters. Coming down, killing our speed. A little physical time warp to get us closer. And we are on the ground. So, uh, again, more science, but uh, as a little bit of a channel update, uh, this is basically the last uh, video that I'll be producing uh, before, the, uh, before I go on Christmas break. So don't expect uh, another video until uh, New Year's, basically. And, uh, 
yeah, after that, I might have a second series. I'm not sure exactly what my up upload schedule is going to be. But, uh, yeah, well, uh, that'll come when it comes in uh, about three weeks or so. Uh, maybe a little bit less. Not sure when my first video will be up after uh, New Year's. And here we go with our... Well, first we're going to deploy those magnetometers because we have space now. Uh, do a little bit of science. I've got a special plan for those after this episode. But we're just going to... We're getting into position for the next uh, next lander. And yeah, this one's going to take a little more delta V than the other guys because I have a plane change to do with this guy as well. I probably could have uh, basically spent half a month uh, orbiting to uh, just let my uh, inclination match up naturally. But yeah, I decided not to bother doing that. And uh, also, well, no, I would have been landing uh, close to, uh, I guess, sunset uh, for that. But here we go, making our inclination change. And uh, then, yeah, we're just, uh, well, this guy failed at least once, and that's just what you saw right there, me reloading the quick save. So, coming down. Uh, I don't actually change my uh, view until the last minute on this one. There we go. And start burning. Lower the gear. And... Yeah, just uh, steering away from those other... Those craters off to my uh, left. And there's my phone going off. But yeah, coming down, it's as simple as all the er, the previous two. Well, the previous two successes. I think I actually got this one on the first try. Uh, not exactly sure. Uh, no, obviously I didn't, because I had reloaded the quick save. It was one of the other ones that I got on the first try. Uh, this one, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, cutting out all the tedious science. Uh, I showed it for the first uh, one or two, uh, but didn't feel it necessary to show it on uh, these other guys, because it's all the same. Uh, but I did want to show all these landings. And, uh, of course, next episode, uh, we'll uh, get these guys back to Kerbin. But not the uh, center command pod. Uh, I've got a special mission for him. Uh, I'm not I, I forget if I actually put a transmitter on him. I don't think I did. Uh, which is going to make some stuff interesting, because I think it means I have to uh, actually bring him back to the ground, or actually, yeah, I'll have to bring him back to the ground, or uh, update to 0.23 to uh, basically transfer some of that science. Uh, so, yeah, I obviously haven't uh, updated to 0.23 for this video. Uh, I'm a little wary of doing it for uh, when I con re or continue the series back or in January. Uh, basically, basically because I don't want to have to fully update all the mods that I have and worry about uh, breaking my save or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I just want to keep it 0.2. Uh, point two two until I uh, basically finish with the series, uh, which I'm figuring is only going to be another three or four episodes, hopefully. Anyways, we have our last guy coming down. It's barely sunrise, but that gives us a nice view to the west uh, with all the ground scatter. And I don't even realize that I'm down here. <laughs> Honestly, but yeah, a little time warp to get us in the sun. Not that I need it, because you can see those uh, er, RTGs there. Anyways, uh, live commentary Mike is about to come back uh, very shortly. Well, guys, that's uh, going to do just about do it for us today. I'll, uh, in the next episode, I'll get these guys back. And since the uh, transfer stage has 
so much fuel left, I think I have a plan for him as well. So, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this episode, please leave a like. And don't su forget to subscribe to see uh, more. I'm Mike Bradley, this has been Kerbal Space Program. I'll see you next time.